I'm Tyler Patner, host of the Pyramid Air Insider. This is our first entry into the TNT video series. That's me, Tyler, and Travis Patton over at Airgun Depot, sitting down and talking about some hot topics in the airgun industry, giving you guys some insight, background into what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, had the opportunity in June of 2019 to head out to Utah and go hang out with the Airgun Depot guys. Did all this filming, thought it'd be some great content for you guys out there uh, that are interested in learning a little bit more about the background and some of the hot topics going on in the industry. Today, since this is the first video, we're gonna give you guys a little bit of insight into Travis and mine's background and then we're also going to talk about multi-pump PCPs. Are they going to become a thing? Are they not? Who knows? Check it out. I like just being a part of the gun industry and like the, not just the gun industry as a whole but like it's a culture thing right? Like I think America and guns is like, nope, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> so for me, it, it's, it's, it's about the guns. I mean, it's about being able to shoot and it's be, about being able to, to try out these different guns. You know, before I worked here, it was always, okay, I'm researching what, what's, what's the next gun I'm going to buy. Okay, I've got to you know, every, watch every review on it. Okay, what are the pros or the cons? You know, breaking it down like this, trying to get an idea before I bought it. And How now, long have you been working in the air gun world now? About a year and a half. So you're still like young, naive, and disillusioned. I understand. Okay. No, I'm kidding. You know, for me, it was like always thinking about what I'm going to buy. And when yeah. I get here, I, I start working here, and then it's like, oh, I can actually pick up this gun, take it to the range, and shoot it. I, can, I don't have to actually buy it. I can just shoot it, and uh, when the next gun comes in, I can, I can shoot that too. I mean, I, I never got enough trigger time. I still don't, actually. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but I get to shoot a lot more now, and that's what I love about this. Maybe you've been here too long. Are you, are you burned out, Tyler? Are you so, so I just hit six years uh, at Pyramid, and um, yeah, you know, I think I 100% agree with you on, like, why I like it. I'd even go so far to say is why I love it. It's the, so I was like 100% when I first got into air guns, man, I was on YouTube, I was on the forums, I read everything, I looked at pictures, I was watching videos. For me, probably the, the thing I like most, I, like I agree with your sentiments 100% on why you like working in the industry because like being on the outside and it's hard, a little hard for me to re remember back that far and like what that felt like because I don't honestly get that feeling very often anymore. Like a new product comes out, I don't have that. There are very few products that give me that genuine excitement anymore. There are still products that do that, absolutely. But a lot of it's like air guns are air guns and somebody has to come out with something truly innovative or something that's really a fresh take on something for me to get excited, truly excited about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, having access, access is everything, right? You can, I don't have to spend money anymore. Like I, I still do, but I don't have to. I buy air guns all the time. I, I, I've definitely owned more air guns working in the industry than I had before. And before that was like, I'd owned like a hundred plus air guns when I started working at Pyramid. So, but now it's just like unfettered access, you know, like, Hey, can we get a sample of this? Can we get a sample of that? Absolutely. Wow. It, it, it's really cool. Um, yeah, I think it's the, the, for me, it's, it's the having the ability to really try anything you want. You know, it's, it's having the ability to say, oh, well, here's a defective one of these. Like, I've always wanted to rebarrel this gun. Or I've always wanted to see what I can do to tune this gun. And having the ability, having all, everything you need right in that spot, you know, because we have our own tech department, so we can just, you know, I can rip open a gun, put a new spring in it, and make it work, and I get that sense of accomplishment. Just, like, and you've got a tech department, so they can fix it for you after you. Well, after I break this. it, right? Yeah, exactly. If if it's not a PCP, I can't fix it. That's for sure. Um, it, but yeah, there's there's definitely that. It, it's access for me. I think that's what I love about it, and it's, you know, I'm I'm an air gun fan to the core. So for me, it's just having the ability to get hands on and meet the people behind the ideas and all that sort of stuff, I think it's just fantastic. Um, and really like a dream come true. Yeah. yeah.
The multi-pump PCP is a bit of an oddity to me. I, I, I'm not sure that I think it, it, it's a concept that can be done in mass. I, I don't know. Well, no. Uh, it, it's I interesting, know. right? I mean, you I have, know. I mean, you had the FX Independence right. and the ND that, that were great guns, you know, FX quality and price tag. Well, right? yeah, but to be fair, and including the price tag, uh, the first bunch of those had some pretty awful seal issues, like, uh, and, and moisture issues was the big one. Um, now they've gotten that whole thing figured out, and from my understanding, the, the guns work flawlessly. Um, but, yeah, I mean, ugh, it, it, to see it go in from that ultra high end to the Seneca Aspen, which is, you know, $400, like an entry level price point, is a little like, whoa, yeah. you know. Um, I mean, the crazy thing is, is, is the Aspen, you know, looks and feels and acts and everything just like an entry level. Yeah, PCP, oh yeah, for sure. But it's stinking accurate. Yeah, oh yeah. The, I mean, the, especially in 177. Yeah, I, you know, I've shot all three calipers now. And I've been very surprised by the barrel quality in those guns. And the trigger's not half bad either, which is the surprising thing to me. I mean, as far as the entry-level guns go in the three dollars to $400 range, mm. it's got one of the better triggers out there, and it's adjustable as well. So, you know, to me, it's, it's the ergonomics maybe aren't the best because the pump handle thing. But, you but know, it's not bad. I, you know, I like that pump handle. You do, it because, just sits right for you. Because now it, you know, for offhand shooting, sure. it just raises it up. It's like a hamster on the bottom sure. there. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I, I really like that. I, I think the gun's cool. I mean, and you have the power adjustment. You have the, you know, you can adjust the hammer spring. You can do a lot of stuff. And, with and it. it gets pretty darn good power. Yeah, it does. I mean, surprisingly good it power. Does. Yeah, I think the, the big question in everybody's mind, right, is is, is it going to stand the test of time in terms of, you know, holding a, up the seals holding and up everything the seals, else. Holding up the seals, moisture, you know, is, is that going to become a problem? Um, personally, on the on the guns that I've had and tested, I haven't seen it yet. Um, but, I, you know, only time will tell, you know, and it's really, is it going to be enough of a push to other manufacturers to maybe take a step yeah, It's such it? a different sort of thing. It's not like, yes. oh, well, we'll add this to our lineup, modify one of our guns. You just have to start. Yeah, how do you put a three-stage pump into a gun that you're trying to keep under, you know, seven pounds, right? It's, it's really difficult to do. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of things that have to be taken into account when you try to do that. So part of this probably just boils down to see how the Aspen holds up and how the... Yeah. Yeah. market takes it. I mean, you could see something jump in right in the middle, you know, at a thousand bucks. I, who knows? I, like I said, could be very interesting uh, if the market kind of latches onto it and, and we get a couple other options out there. I think it would be great for, for air gunners in general to have some options and various price points for yeah, I mean, with onboard pumps. Th this is one of the guns that I like the idea of it more than the practice. Right, sure. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, you get 400 bucks and you've got a pretty good PCP, yeah. you know, in, in that category, yeah. you know, everything. It's self-contained, you don't have to buy anything, but then you're working it. Right. I mean, that's, well, you're putting your energy into it. I yeah, mean, but you and I are spoiled by having access to compressors and oh, sure. tanks that we don't have to actually pay for and all that stuff, right? So, so we're a little spoiled if you're not, you know, I was surprised the Aspen is easier to pump than a hand pump is. That is, that is another thing to point out. I mean, even at 3,600 PSI, yeah. that thing just, is, is, yeah. just keeps on pumping. And like for you, probably not a big deal because a hand pump is doable for somebody who's like, you know, six foot, holy crap. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I, I don't have enough like power well, behind me well, to, to work up. Well, well, we got to pump. that little kind of bench, right? A little stool you could step on and get a little bit, put your weight in it. Didn't want you to bring that up. Oh, it was pink. I mean, it, but it folded and everything. I mean, I carry it around with me everywhere. Uh, I love that thing. Yeah. So I, I forgot that was supposed to be between us. Uh, you know, and and really, if you're looking for an entry level PCP, that's a really good option. Yeah. I, you know, and it certainly takes out the uh, the, the I, financial I pain of having to buy all the other stuff, right? Yeah. yeah for sure. So I. We'll see what happens. I, I mean, I'd like to see it happen personally. I think it'd be cool if, uh, if some more manufacturers got into the fray on that one. Thanks for watching the first of our TNT video series with myself and Travis Patton of Airgun Depot. We appreciate you guys sticking around and hanging with us today. Uh, if you like the video, throw us a like. Sound off in the comments below. If you guys have any further questions you want us to talk about, let us know. And as always, subscribe. We appreciate it. Keeps us going here. Thank you guys a ton. Uh, now head on over to Airgun Depot's page, and they're going to be uploading a video next week, so keep an eye on that. Hit that little notification bell on both channels so you don't miss any of this series. We'll see you guys next time.